Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to my God of War Ragnarok Platinum walkthrough series. This is 21, we're in Alfheim, and we're completing the northern side of the realm in this video. We've already already done the southern side earlier in the story, uh, when we explored, I think it's called the Strond, and inside them sort of bottom chambers where we um, actually went through in God of War 2018. But this one, yeah, we're doing the northern part. And it, it seems it seems like there's quite a lot to do to begin with, but once you've sort of optimal optimized it all, and you know got a nice method to do all, it's it's quite quick to get through actually. Yeah, you'll be surprised. Yeah, but um, yeah, you'll get here eventually. You'll reach a shop, and you can just head over to the shop before you do anything else, uh, just to upgrade your spear because you've got a few flames, a gale flames to upgrade it. You can see that raven flying around on the right. Well, we'll get that in a second. Just first, come and loot your lost items chest. If there's any goodies inside, which we um, forgot to pick up. This will be of use. And then talk to um, Sindri. Upgrade your spear. Yeah, you can upgrade this to level 9. Like I was saying, it's the only weapon you can max out fully if you do only platinum requirements. And you're obviously looting them rifts with the lost Lindworms inside. But yeah, get this raven afterwards. Bit of a nuisance. But leveling up that gale, that um, spear, guys. I'm going to say gale spear then. Leveling that up should put you at level 8. Yep, this one's one of the more annoying ones to get. Oh, got him. Yeah, so that should be raven number 42 or 48. And here she's trusted slay. Yeah, you get a tutorial here finally. So I think the game wants you to come here earlier in the guide earlier in the game because um, I think when you first ro when you ride these in Midgard you don't really get a tutorial I don't think you do on you know to push your analog stick forward more to make them go faster how to stop yeah you got a tutorial there but if you avoid this bit you don't actually get one yeah mega interesting right yeah I bet you're so happy I told you that yeah but um, once you get to the desert guys there'll be a sandstorm and basically the northern part of the desert is divided into two parts. You got this sort of sub-region here, there'll be a sandstorm. You have to clear out the storm first. And then on the other side there'll be another sandstorm which you have to clear out. But you'll have to drop down into caves first thing when you get here. So once you come through the um, entrance into the sandstorm area, go east and you'll reach a sort of cave. There'll be a light, and you saw it on the map just then. Once you enter this area the favour will trigger automatically. And it'll show you how to get here. And once you get to this cave, just drop down, guys, and follow the linear route. Yeah, it'll start that favour, Secret of the Sands. You need to complete that one. But in this cave, there's nothing of importance except for a Norna chest. Yeah, it's Norna chest in this cave, and in the other cave, which we have to do, there's a artifact. So, yeah, it's quite linear, guys. So, all I say. Um, I just let you follow me, and I'll, I'll come back once we're done. Well, I'll come back at the Norna chest, and then um, I'll come back once we get back outside. Because all the collectibles are outside. Like I say, all that's in this cave is a Norna chest, and it's quite linear. It's quite a linear route, but there's a little bit of puzzles involved with um, reflecting your axe off them panels, you know, to make them reflect and uh, destroy some of the roots. But yeah, just follow me guys, I'll come back on the Norna chest and come back a bit closer to the end of this cave. And once you get back outside and start the collectible hunting. There will be a Berserker boss on this video by the way. No, two Berserker bosses. Yeah, two. And one of them, you have to fight three at once. So we're actually going to be getting four Berserker bosses. Two gravestones, but four Berserker bosses in this video. But then they're not too bad, don't worry too much about it. Have you? Get to Norn's chest, guys, and I will see you there in a second. Out at everything and everyone for their fate. They will not listen to reason. Combat is unavoidable. <laughs> Trust me, I know. Still, I wish it were not the case. This creature Atreus heard, why wait until now to free? It was not a priority. We were too busy attempting to stave off Ragnarok to indulge in any desert dalliances. Once you get to this point, you're supposed to drop down and um, just destroy some things so you can progress. Uh, but you actually want to come all the way down and destroy these enemies first. 
and lift this gate because this Norna chest is one of them ones with the timed seals and um, you need to make sure you've got rid of these enemies already and um, lifted up this gate because uh, one of the seals is at the top and um, you won't have time to hit that seal, come back down here, kill the enemies, lift this gate to access the other seal inside the gate. So do that first so it's ready for later guys and then come up here and just carry on a little bit more and eventually you'll reach the next seal. with my own son when he was Atreus's age. Balder craved adventure, but with the words of the Norns repeating in my head. Your worry consumed you, as my rage once did to me. You overcame it, eventually. Once you dropped into this room, you can see straight in front of you, the seal. Lift this gate, and then hit that Perhaps seal, Odin and then quickly drop down to where that Norn chest were, and get the other two seals. That one will stay activated for a good, probably 10 or 20 seconds. I mean, I've not timed it, but it's quite a while. They drop down there, hit that one, and hit this one as well. And they can get his Norna chest, Norna chest number 27 of 30. Should be an apple. So once you've munched on your apple, guys, just carry on through this cave, and then um, I'll see you once we exit. <laughs> Reminds me more of Freyr in his youth than of Balder. His sensitivity, his compulsion to help any and all in need. That is his mother's influence. Despite all attempts to train him otherwise, Atreus was eager to help lost spirits or run errands for the dwarves during our travels together. Fey's influence runs deeper than that. Why do you think you're the one assaulting a cave full of hostile dark elves to save a wounded creature? Hmm. as training for Atreus, or an excuse to gather resources while testing his abilities. But I made him a promise. His voice is my guide. And his voice told you to come out here? He would approve. Strange, that means more to me now than it did before he left. You've said it yourself. Atreus takes after his mother. His approval is her approval.
Gufa. I haven't seen one since I was a child. Hey, Gethune's ghost! That's the largest bloody half Gufa I've ever laid eyes on. That howling sounds familiar. It's the Song of the Sands. They don't normally sing like this underground. That must be the cause of the storm. Aye. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here for dozens of winters. There must be a way to cut it loose. I'd wager that there's nothing here a well-placed throw of the axe can't solve. <laughs> We've cut it loose, but it can't seem to escape. Much of the hive matter is gone. We can free it from the surface now. How in the realms did they capture such a large one? Hafgafas are known to burrow, so I'd hesitate to place full blame on our dark elf friends. Even though it's bound by their hive? Hive matter doesn't belong to the dark elves. Any more than the light belongs to the light elves. It's just another of Alfheim's natural resources. One the elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the light elves seem keen to banish the Yeah, we're about done. I left a lot of loot in that cave. So I did show you how to access most of it. And it's up to you if you want to get it. So once you're outside, guys, and back on your sleigh, you'll see that uh, sort of uh, massive bones of a beast. I'm not sure what kind of beast it were. Come towards that, and um, just on the left, you'll see this light. That's one of the hive course, and you want to destroy that. And that will release the, um, the massive jellyfish. And purify the sandstorm. There'll be no more sandstorm in the area. And you can see... Everything. Yep. You have to wait a few seconds for Freya to um, talk about the huge jellyfish flying around in the sky. Yeah, it's pretty random, isn't it? It's just a Norse, uh, Norse mythology. Massive jellyfish, half golfer. I have no idea. But yeah, once you release that, that purifies the um, this part of the region. So there's no more sandstorm, as you can see. And right, now let's go and do some collectible hunting. So get back in your sleigh, head sort of west to this tower. The broken tower, not sure what it's supposed to be. And then you want to head inside, there'll be a few enemies. You can see that raven just over there, half golfer. Yep, that's where we are. See that jellyfish? Uh, no, raven, sorry. That raven will be number 43 or 48. Come inside, kill these enemies. And then once you've got these, there's going to be an artifact in here and a lost page. Yeah, we're going to get the final two lost pages in this video. We're actually going to get the trophy for getting every artifact. We're going to get every raven. And we're also going to get a trophy for getting 30 Norna chests, guys. So we're getting a lot of collectibles out of the way in this one. Yeah, this lost page, this one makes the hilt of... <laughs> I'm just trying to think how to pronounce this one. The hilt of Angravado available to uh, craft in the shop yeah the hilt of Anguivado <laughs> I don't know but yeah that'll be become available to craft after finding this lost page this third one in this northeast side of Alfheim I'm just going to unhighlight everything I've just picked up right and we should be good to go yeah once you got that come over here to this law marker and just to the left is a artifact. This is, should be 37 of 43. Tributes to Frey. Horn. Horn of Bloodmeat. 
yeah well he's got that that's what we want in this tower get back in your sleigh and then you want to head north sort of yeah get back in if you want to turn around quicker with these guys just hold down on the analog stick and it turns around much faster yes yeah, so head north you find this sort of broken tower uh, wrapped up in vines and roots you want to come around the back of it and you'll see some uh, roots you can destroy there you go that will free all the um, roots covering it and then there'll be a Norna, uh, Norna brazier here a torch you need to light that one they come around the front try not to get stuck on any rocks yep one of the um, torches at, at, at the top just lob a spear at the um, at the explosive pot and then your third torch is there guys and then hop up and loot the northern chest this will be 28 or 40, uh, 30 horn of blood meat two more to get so once got this now we're going to head over to them bones Brother, I've been meaning to, ask. to the north east Okay, southeast, I guess it is. Yeah, you can see that raven just in the eye. That's raven 44 or 48. And then go inside, and there'll be some enemies you need to fight. Fight these enemies, and then you need to climb the wall at the back, and that'll lead you to an artifact. Quite a lot of enemies kill here. Yeah, some pesky ones that um, cling to the walls and shoot a little projectiles at you. Yeah, just keep dropping in. Find the nest. Yeah, got him, last one. Yeah, so climb this wall. At the top here will be artifact number 38 of 43. Vashir's poems, Celestial Construct. Yeah, look at that Astro Bot. Yeah, so once you've got that, guys, go back to your sleigh and now we're heading to the next Berserker boss. This next Berserker boss, this is one where you have to fight three at once. It's up to you how you want to do it. Two of the bosses, they share a health bar. So um, the two, there's two sisters. If you defeat any one of them, it will defeat the other one. The other one will just vanish or die. Um, so it's up to you how you want to do it. You might want to go for the big guy, because he'll just keep on attacking you. But sisters just seem to like, they don't do much. They're mainly there for sort of support. Uh, but... I normally get rid of them two first because when you kill one, it kills the other. I never asked how it felt to lose your head. But if you do go for them, just make sure you're looking for your hit markers. You know, you indicate your indicators inside the screen so you know when an attack is coming, so you can dodge out of the way. But yeah, there it is. Got a little arena for this one. Already laid out for us. Yep, so you got Vip Dagger the Cold and the Sisters of Ilska. Yeah, so I, I always go for one of the sisters first. Yeah, it's just annoying because um, Vip Dagger the Cold, he just keeps punishing you. So whenever I see, see that red marker, I'm trying to dodge. Can you imagine facing these guys if, you had a, if they had a red health bars? This would be a very, very difficult fight. The next video, by the way, um, we'll be fighting the final Berserker boss, the King, in the next video. Yeah, we'll be doing the King, we'll be finishing Nilfheim. And, um, yeah, we'll do the King in the next video. Finish up on most, most collectibles. 
and then we end the next one in Muspelheim where we'll do the last few trophies so yeah not much to go guys got this next video doing the Berserker boss uh, King boss and a few more collectibles and then ending up with Muspelheim yeah get rid of these sisters not too bad to get rid of them first and then this guy falls pretty easily then once he's all by himself I've not had too much trouble with the Berserker King by the way um, I had a bit of trouble I, I think the first time I ever fought him a while back I died the first time but I've just beat him twice on this account and another and I've beat him first time not too much problems I didn't have to use Re Resurrection Stone I did have to use my um, my Fury but yeah I still had my stone left at the end of it so yeah it's not, it's not too much trouble um, but I know a lot of players are still having trouble with him So it's not it's not a case you can just spam attacks. You do still have to play defensively a little bit. You know, pick your times when you want to attack. Yeah, when you've decapitated him, that means he is defeated. Yeah, pick up all goodies they drop. Berserker Souls defeated, 10 of 12. Yeah, I think that counts as three. Yeah, so all that's left to do in this sort of area, there's a artifact, guys. Yeah, that boss also dropped a frozen flame, so you can actually upgrade. Yeah, there you go. So you can upgrade your axe again. But we'll save that for the next video. All it's going to do... Right now, all it's going to do is give you a bit more damage for your axe. And it don't, it's not going to make too much of a difference. The next Berserker boss, easy enough anyway. Yeah, so now we're coming, sort of, you can see, to the southwest. And um, stop, you see just over there. There's the door we came in, that's where I am on the map. So it's just between the entrance to this area and that cave we went down earlier. There you'll see this little wall space you can squeeze through. Just come through guys and you'll find an artifact. There's a 39 of 43 tributes to Frey the Harp. Yeah, four more artifacts left to get guys. Okay, so um, it's going to be pretty linear again for probably a good five to ten minutes so um, what I'll say just follow me now for a bit we're gonna basically go we've done this region in terms of platinum collectibles this part now we're gonna head to the north west side of the desert where it's gonna be another sandstorm and then we're gonna be dropping down into another cave so we're gonna get into the northwest side to be a sandstorm straight into the cave again a favor will start as soon as you get into that area like it did with this part so if you can't find it just look on your map and you'll see the favorite icon showing roughly where it is but once you get into the next cave there's one collectible down there and it's an artifact but it's at the end on your exit so it's after freeing the jellyfish the um the second half golfer yeah on your way out there'll be another artifact but i'll, I'll come back with a commentary just when we reach the artifact guys and i'm let you know yes yeah, so just carry on guys and i'll see you just after freeing the half golfer I remember when Freya and I traveled to this realm as children. The desert was healthy and full of life back then. I can't help but fear that era has ended for good and our efforts here are futile. It's a fair concern. Healing this land will take more than a pair of singing half -tupa. But I have to believe in the long run, we're doing right by Alpine. Well, best we start looking for a way underground. Keep a lookout for a cave! I see an entrance! appreciate our efforts out here. Aye. Hearing the song of the sands again is a rare privilege. Even if it's only a solo act. 
For a duet, once this Hafufa is free. This architecture. It is not of the Dark Wells. An abandoned ancient settlement, by the looks of it. Built long before the Light Wells creation. More hard there as well. I'd say we're on the right track then. <laughs> When I last came here with you, Atreus, I assumed the absence of all time's light was an aberration. I didn't realize it was covered by hive metal. Aye, and as far as the Dark Elves are concerned, it's that light column in the center of the temple that's the aberration. Just look at how old some of these surfaces are. Far older than the Light Well, or even our trap Hathkifer, for that matter. That's quite the empathetic perspective, Mimir. Well, dangle from a burly god's backside for a few winters, and you'll find yourself looking for all sorts of new perspectives. travel underneath the barrens, do they? Territory changes hands often in Nalfheim. Well, so it appears. Big Deer did mention that these ruins have historical significance for the Light Elves. I assume they're only here to keep intruders out. Well, at least they tried. <laughs> Good eye. Let's continue, shall we? Goofas will allow them to breed again. It was a dazzling display once. The skies of Alfheim filled with their song. I imagine it's the lack of fresh light that's caused this pair to grow abnormally large. No use in having babies if there's nothing for them to feed on. Trying to protect their children from a harsh world. I can relate. I wonder if these two comprehend the choice they make them to bring. What choice do you speak of? The life cycle of the Hathufa. In order to breed, they must pass on their light to their children. And without light, they will die. I suppose that's all any of us can hope for. That our death has purpose. That we can live on through our children. Given another chance. Time to set it loose. Aye, back to the surface then. <laughs> Go! 
Yeah, so here's that artifact, guys. You have artifact number 40 or 43, tribute to Frey the Pipe. Yeah, so pick that up and then make your way outside and um, you want to destroy the Hive Court again. That will free the second half golfer. There'll be a long cut scene where they sort of have a bit of a, a love, a tender moment and they, I don't know, it's pretty awkward to watch. But yeah, watch that cutscene guys, like I say, it goes on quite a long time. You'll actually get a trophy for finishing this. It's called Full Golfer. Reminds me of a story. Yep, they um, they connect, go inside each other and make a full one. Yeah, get a trophy for Golfer, free the half golfers, that clear the sandstorm and we can clear, clear out the remaining part of Alpine. Perhaps it is just a story, a way to pass the time. I appreciate the sentiment, but, well, your stories... What about my stories? I wouldn't exactly call them comfort. Perhaps. Mamir is the better storyteller. Now don't sell yourself short, brother. You've come a long way from the days of laconic fables. It's okay. Finish your story, Kato. The blacksmith's daughter was the key to unlocking the box. He died trying to protect her from those who would open it. Well, at least it's a relatable story. It appears we've overstayed our welcome in our fight. <laughs> solace in knowing you did what you thought was best for your son's safety. Even these creatures know. There is little choice for a parent. You are not alone. <sighs> I'm not, am I? And now neither are they. Thank you, Kratos. This land sings once more. We've done good here. All right, all done in terms of favors here. Well, long favors, which you need to do to unlock areas. We can do everything now, pretty much. Get it back in your sleigh, go northwest, and you see this raven. Find a buff. You see Frey statue, that's where you want to be heading. Get that raven flying around, that'll be raven number 45 or 48. And then once you get down here, there's a little puzzle. Yeah, there's patches of light. There's blue, you see that patch on the left there with the rocks inside it? That blue circle of sand. There's a few of them in this part of the region. And um, you have to complete this favour in order to make the items appear in the middle. And there's two items which you need from two of them. Basically like two key halves which you need to access a door which triggers a boss and that boss drops a unique item 
which you need to craft, uh, craft a relic later. So that's why we have to do it. So to do this puzzle the way I'm doing it, these crystals were used a lot in the first game if you remember, but they've not really been used much here. But yeah, just try and get access to them all first, and you want to go and get this one first. Yeah, because the second one that we're going to take away is actually going to make a bridge disappear, so we want to do that one last. So we're going to take this one up the bridge, place it in the slot, and then we'll take the one below the bridge and put it in the other one. And that's pretty much all you have to do is do for this favour. That's good. Is that sound? Awesome. Oh wow. Yeah, that's the first one. Yeah, right. Normally we'd have to provide our own. And then go and get the one underneath the bridge, take it to a, the one on the opposite side. Yeah, like I say, it'll, it'll give you access to two key halves, which will complete into one. And that's what you need to open a door. There's a few other bits and bobs in the region, as always, which I don't collect. So I'll leave it up to you to um, decide if it's worthwhile to collect them or not. Yep. Once you've done it, just go to that blue patch, pick up the item. Um, you get, I think you get, a, you get one of them whetstones to upgrade Freya's attack, her weapon. You get whispering slab, and you get that runic summon. All right, so once you've done all that, guys, back in your sleigh. Then we're gonna head south, and you want to be looking for a one of them blue circles. You want to loot the one that I loot. So head south, sort of southwest, and follow the path south a bit more, and you'll come to this first blue patch if you head in that direction. You can either get out or just drive over it, and you'll find that, guys. I should just show you there where it was on that. That's the Alfheim Baron's key half times one. So just make sure you've got that first. There you go. Favour, collect keys from the desert. And then jump up here and get that raven behind that statue. That's raven number 46. And then once you drop down on the right, there's another flower, guys. That should be flower the dawn bloom. Yep, yeah, nine realms in bloom. I'll show you on the map. And the um, flower. Yeah, so to make sure you get that flower there as well. Dawn bloom, this one here. And from here, we're going to head roughly about about southeast. This one is. And it, there's an ornament chest below that pillar. But two of them, two of the torches, are outside. So you want to get this one first. Yeah, that's one of them done. And then the other one is sort of below this arch, this stone arch. Yeah, this will be Norna chest number 29. Only one more to get after this. This is going to have an apple inside, your final apple. And this will raise your health bar a bit more. Yep, and then we're going to be ready for the next Berserker fight. Right, let's go and do it. So, back in your sleigh, head east. I'll take you to the final Berserker of this, of this, um, of this part of this video. There's one Berserk, I'm not sure if it's this one or the next one that we're going to do in the next video. Um, he does a lot of attacks where he, he, he does that attack where he he makes your health bar go purple and um, your, your health will slowly regenerate but if he attacks you while it's purple you lose all that HP. Uh, do, you know what, do you know what I mean? You've probably seen the attack before. But yeah, he's all by himself, he's got a green health bar, so he's lower level than us, so should it be too much trouble for you. Yeah, no, 
not having too much trouble so far. I should have been hit by now. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Spoke too soon. Should have kept my mouth shut. Yeah, it must be the next one which I'm thinking about. Yeah, he... The next one, he's got a green health bar, but he, he can kill you pretty quick. Like I say, he'll, he'll do the attacks where he makes your health bar go purple, but it makes a massive portion go purple. And then if he attacks you during while it's purple, you lose that massive chunk. There you go, got him. Not not too bad. Well, near enough, got him. There we go. Easiest lemon cake. Yep, decapitate him. Make sure they're dead. One way to make sure an enemy is dead, decapitate them. Unless they're dead, Paul. Yep, so pick up the good easy drops. Right, so um, we're going to get the next key half now, guys. That will be the two off two. Key half, two off two. So get back in your sleigh. Head north, but you want to follow the wall on the right. As you head north. Yep, and it will be this patch. This patch here. So, yep, that's where it is. Yeah, this will be the second half of the Alfheim Baron's Key. So make sure you get that. And you see the favours updated now to open the desert door. That's updated because we have both halves and it's obviously made the key now. And then come here guys and grab this artifact. This will complete the Viseur's Poems set and it should pop a trophy. This will be artifact 41 of 43. Or Viseur's Poem set um, 14 of 14. Yeah, get that trophy guys, the librarian. Collect all of the books. Once you've got that, get back in your sleigh, it's time to try again. your sled, and you want to go but behind that massive rock on the left. You see all that, all that vegetation there, that root. If you go too close to that, a boss will spawn. It's optional, you don't have to face him, but if you want to, you can. It's one of them flame phantoms. But you want to come around the back and get that raven just perched on that rock above, with a sort of bit of scaffolding up there. That'll be Raven number 47 of 48. One more to go, guys. We don't actually get a Raven. You don't actually get a trophy for getting every Raven. They just you need everyone because they lead you to a relic, which you need for the relic trophy. Uh, but now what you want to do? Get back in your sleigh, head north east. Is it north east? And you see, this is the Elven Sanctum. You want to destroy the rocks at the bottom. And you find a secret chamber. Come inside and get your final Raven number 48 of 48. And then the final Norna chest is down here. This Norna chest has a little bit of an annoying puzzle to begin with. If you don't know what you're doing here. Yeah, good luck trying to get that raven. Ah, oh, finally. Yeah, last raven guys. 48 of 48. So come down here. Yeah, I forgot how to do this for a minute. I had to um, edit there. So I had to, it took me about five minutes to do this. I forgot how to do it. So um, where the Norman chest is, you want to lobby axe at the um, mirror, the glass on the right, the crystal on the right. And um, yeah, that's what it's doing. You reflect it on that one just on the right there. As you, as you look at the Norman chest, it's a crystal on the right. You have to lobby axe at an angle and then it'll sort of bounce off the other two. And um, it'll sort of make like a triangle shaped tra trajectory and that should get the other uh, roots. Uh, but this Norna chest, as you, as you can see, we've just got one torch. Um, but this this one's a little bit annoying because you can't actually reach the Norna, the um, torches. You have to just look around and see them in the um, environment. But there's one of them down there. You have to use the, um, the campfires to sort of light it. So that's two torches. And then the third is behind that sound barrier. But sand barrier will eventually close. So you want to try and get the hex arrows ready. There you go. And we can shoot the sand barrier after. And once you get this last chest, guys, that'll be final horn of blood mead. That'll pop the trophy full belly. Nor in the chest 30 off 30. 
So what we're doing now, we're just going to exit this chamber, climb up into the main door. There'll be an artifact just before the main door, just on the right. Yeah, just do 180 and grapple up. Yeah, just a new IT, you've got another artifact, number 42 or 43, tributes to Frey. This is a bracelet, his friendship bracelet. And they're coming here. There's a favour in here. I've never completed this favour. You don't need to do it for platinum. I've never done it. If you want to do it, I think all you have to do is grab a bit of loot. And you probably get a lot of XP from it. Yeah, but I've just I've never completed this. Yeah, in this room, you want to come to the far north east side. There'll be this table. And at the back it's a lost page. This is the final lost page we need, guys. And this will give you the hilt of Dying Slave recipe. So you can craft it later. So that should be the final lost page. If it's not, you've missed one. If you do miss anything, guys, just look through my text guide and hopefully that'll help you to um, track down whatever you've missed. And then come up here, guys, and this is the last jewel to upgrade our amulet fully, which we'll probably do in the next video. But yeah, this is the final piece you need. All you need to do now is get to a shop and fully upgrade it. Yep, the final jewel, jewel seven of seven. Now you wanna go back outside one more thing to do here guys and we're all done yeah get back in your sled and now we're going to head sort of northwest. yeah you're going to sort of head towards Frey statue but you're going to follow the north wall and between where you are now and Frey statue there'll be another sort of little area you can explore so yeah just keep that wall on your right you'll see that rift in the distance we're climbing up near that rift but just past it so just carry on past the rift, you should see a grapple point on the wall. Yeah, there it is. That little, you see that grapple point on that rock? Jump on there and then bash through the wall opposite. Kill the enemies. And the final artifact is going to be up here, off the game. Yes, yeah, kill these elves. And then once you've got these, you're going to go through a little, a little um, space in the wall. That one over there. Looks like it's been made for Sindri. Or Atreus, probably. Yeah, once the elves are back on the shelf. Come in here, guys. Final artifact. Artifact number 43 of 43. Tributes to Frey. The token. There you go. Final one, guys. You've got that trophy, the creator. That's a find in all 43 artifacts. I'll just show you a list of what I have so um, if you haven't popped that trophy and you're missing one hopefully this will help you recognize which one you're missing and then just look for that name in my text guide yeah so whatever, whatever one you're missing if you are look for that name in my text guide because I have to name them all, all the collectibles and then hopefully you can track down which one you're missing and exactly where it is yep there you go all 43 artifacts some guys tell you there's 38, some guys tell you there's 48, uh, but none of, them, none of them seem to actually tell you that it's actually just 43. If you look at your artifacts after popping the trophy, you have 43. So I don't know why some say 38 and some 48. A little bit misleading. But what, what can we do? Yeah, but um, open this vault, guys. You need the Alfheim Baron's key to do that. Remember, we did get the two halves from them small blue circles. Um, on the desert and then the gravel belly will say hello kill him he's got weak points on his front feet you can um, detonate them with your spear knock him over for a minute and they can hack away at his uh, gravel belly I'm gonna say if you, if you use the spear go poke him from the rear that might do some serious damage uh, but he falls down he falls down easy enough and then loot him afterwards. You have to kill this guy because he drops a unique material. Which you need to craft a relic. Yep, and the material, it'll come up on the map in a minute. But that's all you need to do here, guys. We're fully, that's it. Alfheim is complete in terms of platinum. And this video, all we're going to do now is go back to the closest, uh, mist, the closest mystic gateway. And warp to Nilfheim, ready for the next video.
Yeah, that's a part. Skill nurse gamble time. That's a unique material. There's only one in the game, and you need that to craft a relic. So we killed him basically just for that. Yep, so that's how we're looking, guys, in terms of collectibles in the region. 51%. That's all you have to do in this area. Yep, then the closest gateway is all the way back through this uh, um, connecting pathway which links both regions of the desert. Yeah, just halfway through you'll come to that music gateway, we passed it earlier. Yep, and you want to warp to Nilfheim. Yeah, the undiscovered gateway, which once you discover it, it become the mist fields. Yeah, this undis undiscovered gateway, we needed the seeds from a Ratatosk to... Um, discover them that's how they become available so yeah Nilfheim guys and this one the mist fields there you go warp there ready to begin the next video like I say all we're doing in the ne next one it's, it's gonna probably be a quick one actually we're mainly just doing Nilfheim we do Nilfheim and then we're going to um, Midgard getting them remaining collectibles there fighting the final berserker boss the king and uh, there will be a, another berserker in um, in Nilfheim but it's just one of the normal ones and yeah that'll be it guys and then ready for Muspelheim in the final video yeah so thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video